Embarking on this AI automation agency journey, I have encountered unexpected challenges. Today, I'll be sharing strategies to address the biggest challenge of them all. Dealing with a technical knowledge gap from being a technical noob to understanding the AI chatbots and the automation process. Hello everybody, as you can tell, this channel documents my experience as an entrepreneur in the field of AI automation. I'm thrilled to share with you the process of creating a real estate booking agent for a dear friend of mine who is involved in the industry. In this video, I'll be talking about the obstacles I encountered during the project and the approach I used to overcome them. I hope you find value in this and can apply in your own situation regardless of where you are on in your journey. First, I came across this project after pitching and giving a presentation to a group of top performing real estate agents three months ago. Back then, I didn't fully understand the purpose behind it, but I was genuinely enthusiastic and eager to start sharing AI automation solutions with absolutely everybody. The specific issue that I aim to tackle is the overwhelming influx of inquiries asking the real estate agents for the factual information for listings, such as how many bedrooms does this property have? How, what are the square footage of this condo? Or how can I email the offer to you? What's your email address? All these are very basic and factual questions that yes, some realtors, they may get busy. They don't have the time to do their homework, do their research, and they just do what they're good at. Pick up the telephone and they start calling the other agents. My proposal involves implementing a real estate booking agent that is capable of managing 80% of the workload and could replace 80% of a college student. Therefore, the primary functions of the virtual agent would be to share knowledge on the public MLS listings and to handle booking requests. Initially, my plan was pretty simple. I hired somebody to assist me with the task. I reached out to over 50 plus programmers of whom claim they have expertise, quote unquote. However, upon reviewing their website deliverables and some of the works they have done, they, they were just mediocre chatbots that they have learned from YouTube. They're over the internet. Subsequently, I came across experienced developers that can build custom solutions and they want to do the job custom and they were charging me anywhere between $6,000 to $10,000. After evaluation of finances and talking to my friend, I realized that they don't want to pay that much, first of all. Second, there wouldn't be too much profit to be made afterwards. And I have to shift gears. Eventually, I discover someone capable of helping me out with a job. Yet, when we consistently face challenges such as the voice flow bot integration, hallucinations, intent recognitions, the programmer ghosted me. After struggling with this issue for multiple days, I decided to just learn the fundamentals of low code, no code builds myself in order to address the issues. I diligently watch all the bot building <laughs> instructional videos and personally develop 10 complex to simple bots to enhance my abilities. Once I felt confident in my skill sets, I took on the challenge myself. At first, I gotta tell you the truth, I underestimated the difficulty of creating a real estate booking agent. I quickly learned that this new field presented its own set of challenges and complexities. I encounter issues where typing, I want to show one, two, three, four main street at 2 PM this afternoon will result in the bot telling me that I'm sorry, I did not understand this. Or I encounter issues where typing, I want to know how many bedrooms this condo in downtown one, two, three, four main street have. And the result will be the bot telling me it does not recognize the database. It was just like frustration after frustration after frustration. I was confused and I didn't know what to do. In order to address this issue, I had to identify the problem. My first step was to accurately making sure I understand where this is coming from. I thoroughly study, analyze, and made efforts to determine the root cause of it. Ultimately, it boils down to three factors. Number one, the prompting. Number two, the intent. And number three, the structure of the knowledge base. This is where the real learning started. I had no clue how to tackle any of these issues. I didn't want to overpay. I didn't want to experience another 
software programmer ghosting me or go through extensive lists of developers before finding a reliable person that I can work with in the very long term. At this stage, I recognize the significance and the importance of understanding the basics, the fundamentals, and being capable of creating something like this on my own. At the very least, I would have understanding of the process and a better understanding of what exactly I'm doing. My insight and discovery is that developing the ability to troubleshoot and find solutions when encountering obstacles was one of the most valuable skill sets that we can gain in this journey. Now, I need to conclude this. I'm eager to explain how I solved the problem in this video, show you the bot I have built and show you the exact process. Regrettably, it appears that we're running out of time. Keep an eye out on the upcoming videos in which I present a thorough step-by-step -step approach to assist beginners to understand the essence, resource, frameworks, and mindsets for effective problem solving. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give a thumbs up, share with others, and subscribe to the channel.